Good morning. Good morning. Today is July 3rd, 2022. And this is Sunday school. Mm -hmm. We're studying today from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. The key verse says, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. John chapter 1, verse 3. Now, today's subject of the lesson is the reason for it all. And the other um, subject from my international issue was the word became flesh. Mm -hmm. The word became flesh, the reason for it all. Right. May we pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. thank you for this day. Thank you for all that are gathered here in the Sunday school to listen to what the word says, to go into it and study everything about this word. Mm -hmm. This word is good for us. Yes, and yes. as a result of studying it, we will understand more about what you want us to do with our lives while we live here on planet Earth waiting for your return. Mm -hmm. So we pray your this prayer asking your guidance on all our households, our families, our friends, our neighbors, and our neighbors' children, this entire world that we live on. Help us, help us, Lord. Help us to put you first, to focus in on you, Lord, because without you, we can do nothing. Mm -hmm. So we ask your guidance. We ask you to bless the sick, the shut-in, and the bereaving families everywhere. Lord, we love you, and we want you to hold us in the hall of your hand and keep us in your care while we tabernacle here on planet earth. Mm -hmm. We pray this prayer in the name of Jesus who is the Christ. Amen. 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 The word became flesh. Introduction. We celebrate this lesson because it shows how much God loved us by sending his one and only son to planet Earth yes. as a human being. Mm -hmm. He sojourned here on Earth and exemplified. He demonstrated. He demonstrated the lifestyle we must live daily mm -hmm. if we are to be called his children. If we are to be called children of God, created in his image, we should bear a striking resemblance to our father. Mm -hmm. We ought to look like him. Yes, yes. Since holy living was a model set by Jesus, our conversation, our lifestyle, our behavior, and our kindness toward others ought to be like Jesus. Mm -hmm. All of us who are alive now occupy a body of flesh. We, we, we have this fleshly body. We live in this body. We are alive. Flesh that has been corrupted by sin. There is nothing good in us. But since we have been saved, hallelujah, since we have been saved, we should try by the aid of the Holy Spirit to live like Jesus. Amen. Now, now one day, one day I, I won't have this flesh. Mm -hmm. One day in the future, this robe of flesh I'll drop mm -hmm. and rise to seize the everlasting prize and shout while passing through the air, farewell, farewell, sweet hour of prayer. Mm -hmm. The lesson has these outlines. Now, I may not be quite with the quarterly because I started to do my lesson before the quarterly came out. So, but, but it, this lessons, the scriptures are the same. Mm -hmm. And so, again, I refer to the fact that the word was made flesh, yeah. the reason for it all. The first outline of today's lesson comes from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. 
and uh, you will follow along in your quarterly. You have two versions. You have the King James Version and you have the newly revised Standard Version in your quarterly. Um, my version is from the Everyday Bible, the Eternal Word, John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. And this is what it says. In the beginning, there was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mm -hmm. He was with God in the beginning, and all things were made by Him, and nothing was made without Him. In Him there was life, and that life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overpowered it. It has not comprehended it. Right. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. Mm -hmm. And that was the Everyday Bible translation. Let's discuss. Now, God is eternal. Mm -hmm. He exists beyond our limited understanding of time and space. Mm -hmm. our, our minds, our brains can't phantom this, this beginning. In the beginning. So we just say, Genesis tells us in, in Genesis 1 and 1, that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Mm -hmm. And that's just a matter of us believing that God was in the beginning. Uh -huh. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. Now, it talks about the word, word, the term word. It is a Greek term meaning logos, mm -hmm. any kind of communications. It could be translated to mean message. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ was the way God told about himself. The word coexists with God. The word has the same attributes as God. Mm -hmm. All of God lives in Christ fully. Even when Christ was on planet Earth, he was both human and divine. Yes. He, he was, he, even when Christ was on planet Earth, he was both fully Christ and divine. So in the, the, the prophets, the prophets of that day told us that in time past, God spake to the ancestors through the prophets many times in many different ways. But now, in these last days, God has spoken to us through his son. Mm -hmm. God has chosen his son to own all things, and through him he made the world. Mm -hmm. The sun reflects the glory of God and show exactly what God is like. He holds everything together with his powerful word. Yeah. See, just like when he spoke in the beginning and everything came to be, the word is powerful. When the sun made people clean, thank you, Jesus, clean from their sins. Mm -hmm. He sat down at the right side of, the, of God, the great one in heaven. Mm -hmm. The word is a source of life. And through the word, all things came into existence. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God. Mm -hmm. yeah. He spoke, this happened, that mm -hmm. happened, his word. Mm -hmm. For us, there is only one God. Mm -hmm. Our Father. Right. Mm -hmm. All things came from him, mm -hmm. and we live for him. Right. And there is only one Lord, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All things were made through him, and we also were made through him. Yeah. Colossians, I mean, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. The spiritual light, light is available to the whole world, but not all people receive the light. That's right. Mm -hmm. See, we live in a dark, fallen world 
that needs the light of Jesus. Yeah. Now, the people in the world think they need so much more of any different things. They think they need this and that and that doctrine and that law and that this. They think they need the, all these different things, but what we need is the light of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. That is why Jesus came. He came to set the captives free. Uh -huh. So he says he came so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, yes. the Son of God. Mm -hmm. And then by believing, you may have life through his name. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As God's, excuse me, as God's light overtakes darkness, mm -hmm. the darkness is unable to remain. Now we know, and we heard, and we believe that any small amount of God's word, the penetration of just telling somebody, telling them the word of God, will get rid of darkness. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting to note that people would rather live in darkness than rather than light. So what we understand and what we want to say is do not be overtaken by darkness. That's right. See, my dear friends, I am not writing a new command to you but an old command. Mm -hmm. You've heard it from the beginning. It is the teachings you have already heard. But also, I am writing a new command to you, and you can see its truth in Jesus and in you because it is passing away. Mm -hmm. The true light is already shining. Jesus has already come. The word has already come to the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. The word has become flesh and dwelt among us. And then he's left for us. Since when he went away, he left us the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Anyone who says, I am in the light, but hates a brother or a sister, mm -hmm. is still in dark. Yes. 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 Whosoever loves a brother or a sister, lives in the light and will not cause anyone to stumble in his faith. Mm -hmm. But whosoever hates a brother or a sister is in darkness, right. lives in darkness, and does not know where to go because the darkness has made that person blind. Mm -hmm. They can't see because they're blind. They're, and this is what First John tells us about the light. Mm -hmm. So we need to be encouraged to walk in the light. Yes. Walk in walk the in light. The light. Mm -hmm. Jesus will help us. Ask him to be with us. Walk in the light. That's the first outline of today's lesson. Let's look at the second outline. The second outline of the lesson comes from John chapter 1 mm -hmm. verses 6 through 8. You can follow along in your quarterly um, uh, it may be a little different, but it, it's the same word. Uh -huh. John chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. And this one is the human witness. This is, John is the human witness to the flesh coming to planet earth and walking among us. Mm -hmm. John is that human witness. And this is what the word says. There was a man named John who was sent by God. Mm -hmm. He came to tell people the truth about the light so that through him all people would hear about the light and believe. They would hear the word, believe the word, and walk in the true light. Mm -hmm. Now John was not that light. Mm -hmm. But he came to tell people the truth about the light. Mm -hmm. The true light that gives light to all was coming into the world. That is John chapter 1, verses 6 through 8. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss. John was a forerunner to the word. Mm -hmm. John. This forerunner was sent by God. It tells us that in the, in the scripture. Luke's gospel tells us about the heritage of John. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Now, it's in uh, the other Gospels as well, but uh, this one is in, from the book of Luke. Luke chapter 1 starts to tell us about John and how he was born and what happened at that time. Now, one day his daddy, Zechariah, was serving as a priest before God mm -hmm. when he saw the angel. Now, Zechariah was frightened. But the angel said to him, Zechariah, don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. God has heard your prayer. Mm -hmm. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give birth to a son, and you will name him John. Mm -hmm. Now, he will bring you joy and gladness, and many people will be happy because of his birth. John will be a great man for the Lord. He will never drink wine or beer or even from birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. He will help many people of Israel return to God and he will go before the Lord in spirit and power like Elisha. Mm -hmm. He will make peace between parents and their children and will bring those who are not obeying God back to the right way of thinking to make people ready for the coming of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, Zechariah's wife, Elizabeth, became pregnant and did not go out of her house for five months. Elizabeth said, look what the Lord has done for me. Uh -huh. Look. My people were ashamed of me because she was an old woman. She mm -hmm. was considered barren, had not given birth to any children, and now the Lord has taken away my shame, she says. Mm -hmm. The Lord has taken away my shame. Mm -hmm. So after the baby was born, they all rejoiced and wondered what his name would be. Uh -huh. Elizabeth said his name will be John. Uh -huh. But there was no one in the family named John. Mm -hmm. Now, what had happened was, remember Zechariah being met with that angel? At that time, when this angel told Zechariah that he was going to be a, have a son, and he was going to be a father, Zechariah was in disbelief. Mm -hmm. And so he was struck mute. Yeah, he right, couldn't right. talk. Couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. So, so, so he, he couldn't say anything. So I'm assuming that between him and Elizabeth, they had communicated some kind of way. And Elizabeth said his name would be John. Mm -hmm. And Zachariah asked for a writing tablet mm -hmm. and wrote his name is John. Mm -hmm. Now, John the Baptist came before the incarnate word. Mm -hmm. He came before the word that was made flesh right. to prepare the hearts of all people for the words of God. That was his, his goal. That was his mission. That's what he was sent to do, to get people ready for the coming of the word which was to be made flesh, which was Jesus Christ. Amen. Now the question that the class needs to listen to and consider an answer because you need to be able to give an answer mm -hmm. for this question because it's very important. All believers ought to be able to give an answer mm -hmm. for this question that I'm about to ask. And this is the question. How can believers, me and you, us, we, maintain a faithful witness when God's light is rejected by others, mm -hmm. how can we maintain and stand up on the truth of God's word and be faithful witnesses when God's light is rejected by others? Mm -hmm. And we know that. We see it every day. Folk don't want to hear the gospel. They don't want to hear what the word says. They choose to do what they want. They might hear a little bit and mix it in with some and come up with their own solution to what it ought to be. But our answer ought to be, let your light, my light, shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Now that's the word. Matthew chapter 5 
verse 16. Mm -hmm. We ought to let our light shine. Right. We right. ought to share the good news about Jesus Christ as we are given opportunity. Every time we're given an opportunity and we're led by the word to share, we ought to share the good news about Jesus Christ. Right. We need to let others see Jesus in our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. let, let, let people see Jesus in you, That's in right. your lifestyle, mm -hmm. in your conversation, in your attitude, mm -hmm. in your service. We talked a few weeks ago in our Bible studies talking about our talents, our gifts that we have. And service was one of them. Mm -hmm. So we ought to show our do that in our service and also our acts of kindness. Mm -hmm. See, John was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light. That's right. Now, the people were hoping for the Christ. They were looking for the Messiah. They were hoping he would come. And they wondered if John was he. Mm -hmm. And John could have said, yeah, you know, yeah. John didn't. He didn't. He said, I am sent by the Father. Uh -huh. I'm not the one. John answered, I baptize you with water. Mm -hmm. But there's one who is greater than I am. Yeah. I am not good enough to untie his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. He will come ready to clean the grain, separating the good grain, hallelujah, from the chair. He will put the good grain in the barn, but the chair he will burn with fire that cannot be put out. The chaff, he, the chaff ain't no good. That's right. And so he's going to get burned with an everlasting fire. And John continued to preach the good news, saying many other things to encourage the people. Mm -hmm. John, the, the forerunner, he was that human witness. Yeah. We go now to the third outline of today's lesson, the true light. The true light. And we will look at John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. Mm -hmm. You can follow along in your quarterly, John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. And this is what it says. The true light that gives light to all was coming into the world. The Word was in the world, and the world was made by him in the beginning, God. But the world did not know him. He came to the world that was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to all who will accept him, who did accept him, who will accept him, and believe in him, he gave the right to become the children of God. Mm -hmm. They did not become his children by any human way, mm -hmm. but by or by human parents, or even by human desire. They were born of God. Mm -hmm. John chapter 1, verses 9 through 13. Mm -hmm. They were born of God. Let's discuss. The word of God is the light for humanity. The word. The word that was made flesh. The word that came and dwelt among us. The true light has come into the world and has been revealed to every person. Mm -hmm. Those people who receive the gift of Jesus Christ will live in the light of his salvation. That's why we have that open invitation right. to come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. While the light made the world and dwelled in the world, not all people accepted him. They, they did, even his own people. That's right. Since the true light, the word of God, created the world and was in the world, so the people therein were considered his own. Mm -hmm. see, see, in the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. He made everything. That's right, he did. Therefore, when he came, 
to the world, it was as his, its originator, as its creator. But the reception was not, well, it wasn't welcoming. Mm -hmm. they, didn't, they didn't welcome him. Even his own people didn't accept him. Yeah. Well, this is not, this is not any different from what the prophets had said would happen. They had foretold that one would come. Isaiah 53 verse 3 says, he was hated and rejected by people. Isaiah 53, verse 3, says he was hated and rejected by people. He had much pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. And when you read in Isaiah, you'll see many prophetic tellings of the coming of the Messiah and how he was rejected. Mm -hmm. People would not look at him. They, they wouldn't even look at him. He was hated and we didn't even notice no, him. No. Isaiah 53, verse 3. And Psalms 118, verse 22 says, it talks about the cornerstone, stone, the cornerstone. This stone was, is, was one that the builders rejected. Mm -hmm. Now you're building a, a, a building. They find the best stone, chip around it, and make it fit into that spot. Right. But this one, he became the stone that the builders refused. Mm -hmm. That's what Psalms 118, verse 22. But in spite of the sadness that many people rejected Jesus the Christ, many others received him and his testimony That's right. mm -hmm. to eternal life. That's the only way we can have eternal life mm -hmm. is we got to receive Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of our lives. Right. We have also received not only that, but his grace. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why we live it under this particular dispensation of grace. We can tell God thank you because mm -hmm. the stuff that goes on that would have happened back in the day would have killed us right. based on the law, right. mm -hmm. but it's God's grace, grace. and mercy yeah, that keep right. us going on. And we can go to him and say, Lord, forgive me, I'm sorry, I did mess up. Please help me, please forgive me. We have further come to know that God the Father and clearly receive his son. Whosoever accepts you also accepts me. Mm -hmm. And whosoever accepts me has accepted the one who sent me. So if you see me, you've seen the Father. Because right, right, the right. disciples asked him, how do we know? How do we see? He said, you, you've been with me all this time and you did not know. If you've seen me, you've also seen the Father. Right. So as believers who have accepted Jesus Christ, believers, we believers, who have accepted Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, we are the children of God. Mm -hmm. We are his sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. No matter who you look like, where you came from, what your ethnicity, what your background, what your experiences, all that, we are his children. Mm -hmm. We have experienced a new birth. Now, it said we have a, a new birth. And it told us in the thing, it said it wasn't by any human experience that we have had this new birth. But we know about this from the word because the word tells us that there was a man named Nicodemus. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that man named Nicodemus was one of the Pharisees. He was one of them hierarchies. He, he was way up there in Jewish law and the Jewish teaching. He was an important Jewish leader. But one night, Nicodemus came to Jesus and said, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher sent by God. Mm -hmm. Because no one can do all the miracles that you do unless God is with him. That's right, right, right. Jesus asked us, I tell you the truth. Unless one is born again, he cannot be in God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. You must be born again. Yeah, right. Now Nicodemus said, said but, but if a man is already old, how can he be born again? He cannot enter his mother's womb again a second time and be born. How can this, how can this be? 
logical thinking. He's looking at it from the state of what we see as human birth, human procreation. How can he be born again? But Jesus answered. He said, I tell you the truth. Unless one is born from the water and the spirit, he cannot be in God's kingdom. That's right. Human life comes from human parents. But spiritual life comes from the spirit. Yeah. Marvel yeah. not, I say unto you, you must be born again. Yeah. You must. Don't be surprised when I tell you, you must be born again. Yeah. Only through faith in the word of truth can a person be born into the family of God. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter who they are. They can come to Jesus just as they are. Mm -hmm. And so all I can do as the teacher for today's lesson is tell you that as a believer, I praise God for this opportunity to be a member of God's family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I want to now go to the last part of our lesson, and let's look at verse 14. John chapter 1, verse 14. It's a very large verse there, very important verse. Mm -hmm. John chapter 1, verse 14. The only son. The only son. Though this is what that verse says. And the word became flesh. The word became a human and lived among us. We saw his glory, the glory that belongs to the only son of the father, and he was full of grace and truth. Mm -hmm. The only son. only son. Let's discuss. The word became human flesh, identified as the preexistent son of God. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. that, that's who he was. He was the word made flesh. His Good name right. is Jesus. Right. Eternal life came by salvation through Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In ways, in ways, yet I, I can't even fathom how, how to explain it. People can't explain it. It's yet mysterious and glorious. Mm -hmm. The word of God was made human and entered his creation. Now, the term has been given for that is called incarnate mm -hmm. or incarnation. Mm -hmm. Incarnation is a term used to describe the word of God becoming a human man in Jesus Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the Gospels they're all of Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all of them, they have a, a description or they tell about Jesus' birth. But I looked at Matthew chapter 1, verses 18 through 25, and this is how the birth of Jesus came about. His mother, Mary, was engaged to marry Joseph. Mm -hmm. But before they married, Mary learned that she was with child mm -hmm. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Matthews chapter 1 verses 18 through 25 is where we're looking. Yeah. She learned that she was with child by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because Mary's husband, Joseph, was a good man. Mm -hmm. he, he was an honorable man. Yeah. He did not want to disgrace her in public, so he planned to divorce her secretly. Mm -hmm. Now, we, we really do need to look at this man, Joseph. He was an honorable man because one word from him could have gotten Mary stoned. If he had said that she had done something wrong, she could have been stoned to death and he would have been able to throw the stone, the first one anyway, and others it would have stoned her and she would have died. Mm -hmm. But he didn't want to do anything that would harm Mary, so he planned to divorce her secretly. Mm -hmm. Now those bonds that were made in marriage 
uh, by somebody giving their daughter or son in marriage uh, was with very strong demons. Mm -hmm. Those bonds were unbreakable, except maybe by death. Now, while Joseph thought about these things, he thought about it. He'd been told, but he thought about it. And, and Joseph went to sleep. An angel of the Lord came to him in a dream. Yes. And the angel said, Joseph, descendant of David, mm -hmm. don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife, yes. because the child within her is from the Holy Spirit. Yes. She will give birth to a son, and he will be, and you, 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 Joseph, will name him Jesus, mm -hmm. because he will save his people from their sins. Yes. All this happened to bring about what the Lord had said to the prophets. See, the foretelling or the telling of the coming of the Messiah had been done. Mm -hmm. And so the prophecy is coming to truth. The virgin will be pregnant and she will have a son and they will name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. He is with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the Lord's angel had told him to do. He was obedient. Joseph took Mary as his wife, but he was not intimate with her until she gave birth to the son and Joseph named him Jesus. Mm -hmm. The word of God did not, did more than just come to the planet earth. It, 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 the word became flesh and did come, but it lived among us. It, it dwelt among us. He was about doing the father's work. Mm -hmm. Jesus was healing, teaching, preaching, sharing, serving, loving folk. He was about the will of the Father. And John, the forerunner, had firsthand knowledge of the glory of the only begotten Son. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Okay. Matter of fact, remember now, John says, when Jesus comes, he says, baptize me, John. Mm -hmm. And John says, behold, the Lamb of God that cometh and taketh away the sins of the world. I, I ought to be baptized by you, right. not me, you. You know, he, he tells him, he says, baptize me, John. And John baptized him mm -hmm. there at that river Jordan. Mm -hmm. So John had firsthand knowledge of the glory of the only begotten of the Father. Right. Lord, we thank you. As we conclude today's Sunday school lesson, the word of flesh gave up his place with God, he did, and made himself of no reputation. Mm -hmm. He didn't come to get no accolades, no stuff pin on him. He came and he made himself of no re report, no mm -hmm. reputation, mm -hmm. right. of nothing. Mm -hmm. He was born to be a man and became a servant. He certainly did wash his disciples' feet. And he served many people, didn't leave anybody hungry. He served. Scriptures only tell a little, but Jesus did the will of the Father. Yeah. And he, when he was living as a man, he humbled himself and was fully obedient to God, even when that caused his death, mm -hmm. the death on the cross. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. So God raised him to the highest place. God made his name greater than every name, any, every name you can think of. You can think of an, uh, God's name is greater. Jesus, his name is greater. So that every knee will bow to the name of Jesus. Yeah. Everyone in heaven, everyone on earth, everyone under the earth will bow a knee at the name of Jesus. And everyone will confess mm -hmm. with their mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and bring glory to God the Father. Yes. Amen. 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 I submit this as a Sunday school lesson for July 3rd, 2022. The subject again, 
The word became flesh. Mm -hmm. The reason for it all. 